In this mock, we're going to explain how social marketing can help people working in social inclusion organizations to solve daily problems. In summary, we will explain four blocks of content. Firstly, we will introduce the concepts of marketing and social marketing. Secondly, we will present the social marketing planning process stages. Thirdly, we will emphasize the role of different stakeholders. And finally, we will review some interesting related theories. We defend that social marketing could help organizations working with disabled people. But how? On the one hand, by creating value for customers, as the general concept of marketing establishes. On the other hand, by building a strong customer relationships, in this case, to capture value from customers in return. When marketing is applied in social context, we talk about social marketing. It is the branch of marketing aiming to promote social causes or general interest. It includes the design, implementation, and monitoring of programs designed to change behaviors and to influence the acceptability of social ideas. It comprises planning and communication strategies. The focus must be the target audience. That means that we need to understand their needs, their wants, and their demands. Otherwise, social marketing has no reason to exist. We could use several marketing tools. We could segment our clients to offer them better services. We can develop communication campaigns to attract volunteers to our organizations. Or we can even organize an event or some activities to raise employees or caregivers' awareness or to motivate them. However, before acting, we need to think. Because of this, we differentiate between strategic and operational marketing. Strategic marketing stresses the need to make an analysis, to formulate your objectives and strategies, and to define your target or audience. And basically, the operational marketing covers the proposal of diverse actions related to your services, prices, distribution channels, or your communication strategy. All that together is called marketing mix. So, to apply social marketing, we need to plan. There are four main steps in the social marketing planning process. Assess, design, do, and learn. The first stage of assessing involves a systematic data collection and the study of findings and other contextual information to understand the specific social problem to be addressed. Based on the insights and processes above, now you're ready to create your marketing mix and to design your social marketing program campaign, or intervention. The third step of doing involves the implementation of the diverse marketing actions under evaluation. But when we design our marketing plan, it is important to consider our stakeholders. They are individuals, groups, or organizations that have an interest in your institution. Engaging with the stakeholders at the beginning of your planning process facilitates allies to join expertise and resources. We do not want to end without at least mentioning some theories that have been developed in the social field. We could point out the social exchange theory, quality of life model in disability context, or the theory of change, among others. In sum, social marketing is useful to you and your organization to address diverse types of interventions, like control, inform, design, educate, and support. And yes, marketing is useful for both midstream level professionals such as social educators and caregivers and upstream level professionals like decision makers.